toughest job of a leader today is not getting the numbers right. That's easy. The tough part is how do you gain alignment between the mission and values of your company and the thousands or tens of thousands of people who work there? Businesses cannot succeed, especially under modern competitive conditions. They cannot succeed without innovation. And innovation depends on creativity. Good work involves the intertwining of three features, excellence, engagement, and ethics. Good work is technically excellent. People know what they're doing. It's personally engaging and meaningful. They want to do it. They look forward to going to work. They don't dread it. And it's carried out in an ethical way. In the day-to-day -day operation of a business unit, of a team, even of an organization, leaders who understand to look for underlying interests that are motivating the shorthand positions people are demanding will be much more effective at resolving things. Making great people decisions is brutally hard. The good news is that you know, this is not an art, this is not the result of an intuition, this is not the result of a gut feeling. This is a craft and a discipline that can be learned and should be learned. People need creative leaders. They don't need command and control leaders. They don't need domineering leaders. They don't need passive leaders. They need creative leaders, inspiring leaders. Leaders keep reminding people of what's important. I think some purpose is embedded in it as a sense of meaning that they're going to do something that will make a difference. A leader who's really developed both self-awareness and self-management skills has a highly developed prefrontal region that, that literally integrates everything together for the most flexible way of being.